Hey guys, this is Mindy Lane with the West Virginia Championship once again. Today we are in Princeton at Death Bar CrossFit and we are here to give you the first workout of the West Virginia Championship. Lindsay Etter is here today. She's one of the coaches at Death Bar CrossFit and she has her athlete here today, Samantha. Sorry. And um, they will be demonstrating the workout for us. A couple of things very quickly though. You can get signed up today, of course, and through Wednesday you can sign up for the West Virginia Championship. And there are four divisions um, for male or female. We have teens and masters one, masters two, and of course the open division. Those are all broken down by age groups. Go to westvirginiachampionship.com and you can see the breakdowns there. So here is the first workout for the West Virginia Championship. We have a hang squat clean thruster ladder. It is a five minute workout for total reps. Now depending on what division you're in, that will determine what weight you're, you're going to be using. Um, for this year's championship, the teen 13 to 17 year old division and the Masters 2 division, which Masters 2 division begins at 50 years old plus, they, they have the same weights um, for every workout. Um, just now and forward, just know teens and Masters 2, they always have the same workout. The same thing for the Open and Master 1 division. Master 1 begins at 35 years old to 49 year old. The Open and the Master 1 divisions, they will have the same workout. So once again, check for your weights um, on the website. We'll have those and we also have them on the screen here. Uh, but it is a five minute hang squat clean thruster ladder. It's ascending, I'm sorry, descending reps, ascending weight. And here is Lindsay Edder. I'm gonna pass it off to her so she can discuss the standards for this workout. All right, guys, so first thing, um, each athlete must put have clips on their barbell, and each athlete must also put their weight on by themselves, okay? So lucky for me, other than that, there's one movement, the hang squat clean thruster, that's all we have to do today. So I'm gonna have Sam go ahead and demonstrate that movement just all together, and then I'll kind of break it down and just tell you guys what we're looking for. Perfect, go ahead and drop your barbell. So as you saw, Sam, the first thing she did was she picked up her barbell and she showed that she was locked out um, and then went into the movement anywhere from above the knee um, for the hang squat clean. Um, and then overhead, all we're looking for is full extension overhead, full extension of your hips and legs. Um, of course, in the squat, you also do have to come below parallel, which Sam did a good job of showing. Um, the other thing that you might want to think about is you don't necessarily have to go right into the squat clean. You can clean it, then squat it, and then put it overhead if, if you'd like to do that. Um, I'm going to have her show you guys one more time everything we're looking for. So she's going to stand up, show that she's paused above the knee, full squat, full extension. And that's the hang squat clean thrust. We hope to have as many people sign up as possible. So looking forward to seeing everybody and seeing your performances and um, did it hard this week. See you next time.